All right. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos. Um, just been busy. Uh, I have a big yard. It's hard to make videos and working it also. Uh, some of these guys on here, they, they've they got really nice yards and I just personally don't see how they do it. Moving cameras and doing yard work. Uh, I hadn't figured it out yet, so I apologize. Uh, so we're gonna do a little update here. Um, it is September 26th. I overseeded uh, August 26th. And I'm just gonna give a little update. Uh, things are looking good. Uh, I will show you this here. Uh, so none of this was like this before I aerated. Obviously this is around a turn and that is about all new grass. Um, I uh, typically aerate the end of August, like normal, but I, was t I took a pretty big chance this year and decided to pull the trigger when it was 90 degrees and end up being about 95 degrees. And I went over these turns two times with my aerator, just because, you know, they get a lot of traffic and the turning wears them out some. And I guess the heat pretty much killed them. So basically around all the turns, I had to uh, reseed the whole area. So it's a coming in good. Uh, where I didn't do a double pass with the aerator. It is fine. I have one problem spot. I'll take you to it here in a minute. But uh, so I'm out here, this is a moisture meter. I'm out here checking the moisture level. Thirty four point thirty four point five. That's good. Plenty moist. Give you some more shots of it. Uh, right up here, same thing. Turn. Run the aerator twice over it. Pretty much killed it. It's all new grass. Over here. This is my trouble spot. Seems like every year one spot gives me trouble. You can see it's all new grass. It's a different different color. Uh, killed this spot also. But I have found now this one is probably in the worst it's probably the worst shape of any part i've got in the yard uh, you can see a few little spots there that's coming in with seed but i have found the compaction is absolutely insane here and uh so i cannot stick this in the ground without putting the phone down so i'm gonna cut this and when I get it in the ground, I'll start it back up. All right, so it's in the ground, same spot. Eighteen point one. Now the rest of the yard is easily in the thirties, and this is eighteen point one. So I have a compaction meter. I didn't bring it, but it's severely compacted all along this edge i guess because it never gets any sun except for this time of day and you would think it stays wet but i believe the soil is hydrophobic it won't absorb any water whatsoever let's go to another spot here right on up uh, bear with me i'm gonna try to do this holding it
while it's in the ground. Right on up. 19.8. Just for a reference, we'll go right here about five steps. Stick it in the ground. 43. Go 10 steps, stick it in the ground. 40. So you see the drift here. So I am probably going to, when this grass comes in and gets a little healthier, probably gonna run my aerovator over this and put some compost and maybe some gypsum. Uh, I probably just won't spray pre-emergent in this spot and just do the rest. Uh, the rest of it's about ready for pre-emergent. I'm actually going to be a little late this year, but it'll be all right. So we'll go over here. So this side is good. Uh, had to put some more seed along this perimeter again. So I will skip the pre-emergent probably on the perimeter and just do it on the rest. I'll take you over here. And over here we have, I found two spots poetry of. Obviously it was already here. Um, so I sprayed it with glyphosate. I guess it was been about seven days ago. There's one spot and there's the other. So what I'll do is I will just, uh, probably just take a string trimmer and whack it really, whack it to the ground and just reseed those spots. But other than that, I don't have a whole lot more to update on. I uh, apologize again about not making any videos, but I appreciate you watching and hopefully we can make some more videos, but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.